Welcome to week five of Mental Mathematics. This week we are going to focus on division. So, so far we've talked about um, adding, subtracting. Last week was multiplication. This week is division. We're going to divide with zeros, with decimal points, divide by four, divide by five, and divide by 25. To divide with zeros, we're going to disregard any zeros that we might have, complete the new problem, and use the test of reasonableness learned in week one to complete the problem. Also keep in mind, we can eliminate any of the same amount of zeros on the right-hand side only and the left-hand side only when we are dividing. So for example, if we have 600 divided by 30, we can eliminate a zero from the 600 and a zero from the 30. And it, the same problem will be 60 divided by three, regardless if those zeros are there or not. If we have 8,000 divided by 200, we can eliminate two zeros from the left-hand side and two zeros from the right-hand side, giving us 80 divided by two, which will give us the exact same answer as 8,000 divided by 200. The division with zeros. We're going to have 4,800 divided by 120. We're going to disregard the zeros and think to ourselves 48 divided by 12. We're going to divide 48 by 12. Uh, it should say 48 divided by 12, not 48 12, but times 12, excuse me, which gives us 4. We're going to use the test of reasonableness because we're able to cancel an equal number of zeros when dividing. Our problem is really 480 divided by 12, which means our final answer, uh, we need to affix a zero in step two to get us a final answer of 40. Let's try 4,500 divided by 900. Disregard the zeros and think 45 times excuse me, 45 divided by 9, then actually divide 45 divided by 9, excuse me, excuse the multiplication sign. We're going to apply the test of reasonableness because we're able to cancel an equal number of zeros when dividing. Our probably, problem really is uh, 45 divided by 9, considering both 4,500 and 900 have two zeros apiece, we can get rid of them permanently so our problem really is 45 divided by 9, which means our final answer really is this answer we found in step 2, which is 5. 3600 divided by 900. Stop the video and try on your own. We're going to disregard the zeros and think 36 divided by 9, not multiplied, divided by 9. We're actually going to divide 36 divided by 9, not multiply, so 36 divided by 9, which is 4. We're going to apply the test of reasonableness. Because we're able to cancel an equal number of zeros when dividing, our problem really is 36 divided by 9. So our final answer is the answer we found in step 2, which is 4. Division with decimals. So we're going to disregard any decimals or zeros if we shall have them. We're going to complete the new problem and utilize the test of reasonableness. So 48 divided by 2.4. We're going to disregard the decimal point and think 48 divided by 24. We're going to divide 48 by 24, which is 2. Applying the test of reasonableness, 2 is obviously too small to be the answer, which means we need to add a 0 which produces the final answer of 20. If you were to just take 48 and divide it by 2, our answer would be 24. So our answer needs to be around 24. So by adding the 0 behind the 2, it gives us 20, which is close to 20, 24. Let's try 930 divided by 3.1. So we're going to disregard the decimal point and a zero and think 93 divided by 31. We're actually going to divide 93 by 31 to give us three. Three is obviously too small to be the answer. If we make a quick estimate, the answer needs to be around 300, which means we need to add two zeros for our final answer of 300. 
81 divided by 0.9. Stop the video and practice on your own. So we're going to disregard the decimal point and think 81 divided by 9. We're going to divide 81 by 9, which is 9. 9 is obviously too small to be the answer. If we make a quick estimate of around 80 divided by 1 equals 80, our answer needs to be around 80. Therefore, we need to add one zero to our answer in step two to our final answer of 90. To divide by four works with all forms of four, just like multiplication did. So 0 0.4, 40, 400, etc. We're gonna disregard the decimals or zeros. We're gonna have the number and then have the number again, applying the test of reasonableness for our final step. So let's say we have 84 divided by 4. We're going to have 84, which is 42, have 42 into 21, and we're done. Let's try 76 divided by 4. So we're going to have 76, which is 38, have 38, which is 19, and we're done. Let's try 9.2 divided by 4. So first we're going to disregard the decimal point and think 92 divided by 4 have 92, which is 46, have 46, which is 23. However, 23 is much too large for the answer. A rough estimate would put our final answer to be about rounding to 10 divided by five is two. Therefore, we need to add a decimal point to our final answer in step three. So our final answer should be 2.3. 620 divided by 40. Stop the video and try on your own. Disregard the zeros and think 62 divided by 4. Have 62 into 31. Have 31 into 15.5. When we divide, we know we may cancel an equal number of zeros from the dividend and the divisor. Therefore, our problem is really 62 divided by 4. So our answer in step 3 is, in fact, the final answer. 15.5. So divide by 5, it can be used in all forms of 5. So 0 0.5, 50, 500, etc. We're going to disregard any decimals or zeros. Multiply the number being divided by 5 by 2. Apply the test of reasonableness. That multiplication sign or that multiply sign should say divided by. So we have 38 divided by 5. We're going to multiply 38 times 2, which is 76. Obviously, 76 is quite large to be the answer. A quick estimate of 40 divided by 5 puts our answer to be around 8. Therefore, we need to have a decimal inserted at 7.6. Eighty-five divided by five. So we're going to multiply eighty-five by two, which is one hundred and seventy. One hundred and seventy is clearly too large to be the answer. A quick estimate of eighty divided by five puts our answer to be around sixteen. Therefore, our answer needs to have a decimal inserted between the seven and the zero. But we know seventeen point zero is the same as seventeen. Two hundred and forty-five divided by. Please stop the video and try it on your own. We're going to ignore the zero and think 245 divided by 5. We're going to multiply 245 times 2, which is 490. 490 is way too large to be our answer. A quick estimate of 250 divided by 50 puts our answer should be around 5. Therefore, our final answer will need to have a decimal inserted at 4.90 or 4.9. To divide by 25 can be used with all forms of 25, 0 0.25, 2.5, 250, etc. We're going to disregard any decimals or zeros and we're going to multiply by 4. Apply the test of reasonableness to achieve our final answer. So we have 700 divided by 25. Disregard the zeros and multiply 7 times 4, which is 28. Applying the test of reasonableness, 
Earth estimate of 700 divided by 20 puts our answer to be around 36. Therefore, our answer of 28 is correct. 210 divided by 25. Disregard the zero and multiply 21 times 4, which is 84. A rough estimate puts of uh, 200 divided by 25 puts our answer to be around 8. Therefore, we'll need to add a decimal to create a final answer of 8.4. 450 divided by 2.5. Please stop the video and practice on your own. Disregard the zero and decimal point and multiply 45 times 4, which is 180. A rough estimate of 450 divided by 2 puts your answer to be around 250. Therefore, answer found in step 1 is correct. No decimal or additional zeros will need to be added. What comes next? Follow the Wikispaces site to practice this problem. We're going to practice a few problems using the five techniques you just learned. Avoid using a calculator. Complete the short essay. Again, your responses are important to helping me understand your comprehension. Email me any comments. And good luck, and we'll see you next week for the final week.